if Pat Moynihan had been airdropped into New England in the 1770s, he would have been one of the most prominent members of our founding fathers. Moynihan being an assistant secretary of labor in early 64 was one of the people who helped Johnson design what became known as a war on poverty. On poverty in America. The advocacy for a minimum level of income for the family. The advocacy for a big jobs program. The kind of solutions Moynihan advocated for are, I would say even in the time, what radical, are very, very radical now. One word that's attached to you wherever you go until you're probably sick to death of it is flamboyant. The flamboyant Patrick Moynihan. I would walk down the street with Pat Taxi drivers would screech to a halt and yell, you're great. He came back and he told me that Nixon had asked him to be his domestic advisor and that he accepted. I was enraged. We're trying to bring government back a little closer to what it is it can be said it knows how to do. He was not an ideologue. He was an ideas person, but not an ideologue. While he was in the Senate, he wrote more books than many of his colleagues read. The abomination of anti-Semitism has been given the appearance of international sanction. When people talk to me about you, I always refer them to the Almanac of American Politics, which says he's the nation's best thinker among politicians since Lincoln and the best politician among thinkers since Jefferson. How's that sound? That sounds overstated, <laughs> but it's a fine note on which to say, it's time to go. <laughs>